Hi, my name is Charles Prover. I'm a pediatrician and an expert in infectious diseases at Stanford University. Welcome to Viral Facts with Digital Medic. Today, I'm going to speak about Omicron, the storm before the calm. My optimistic view of the road ahead, even in the midst of the current massive Omicron surge, is based upon three factors. Number one, Vaccine distribution continues to expand both domestically and globally. Although sadly, we continue to have substantial supply problems in the most under-resourced parts of the world. Importantly, vaccines continue to provide excellent protection against severe COVID infections. Hospitalizations and deaths are reduced by over 70 to 90% in those who have been vaccinated. It is simple math. The higher the percentage of a population vaccinated, the less the number of COVID-related severe infections and death. My second reason for optimism is that COVID disease caused by the Omicron variant is substantially less severe than that caused by earlier variants of the virus. The percentage of patients who need to be hospitalized and the death rates are many fold lower. Unfortunately, severe disease and deaths continue to occur in the unvaccinated, and this is unacceptable. My third reason for optimism is that because Omicron is much less severe, especially in the vaccinated, and because it is highly transmissible, the proportion of the population who are developing immunity, immunity that will mitigate future infections, is expanding rapidly. Soon, a large proportion of the population will have some degree of immunity, either through vaccination or from natural infection. Although a new variant could emerge, Omicron likely will continue to dominate. Because it spreads so well, it may push out competing strains. Although most people would prefer protection from vaccination than from disease, there are many that continue to resist vaccination. There are some whose immune systems are too weak to be protected from vaccination. And there are millions of infants and young children for whom a vaccine is not yet available. Also, there are many countries around the world where vaccine supply remains limited. My hope is that Omicron will fall as rapidly as it rose as already observed in South Africa, and that in its wake there will be a broader population immunity and a transition from a scary and prolonged pandemic with tremendous morbidity and mortality to an annoying endemic state with markedly reduced severe infections and markedly reduced social disruption. My bottom line is that the pandemic is likely to retreat soon, but in the meantime, let's try to limit severe infections and unnecessary deaths. Thank you so much for your attention. Please stay safe.